Hi viewers, this is Venkat and I am from Ardali, Bangalore. In this presentation, we are going to see the live integration between Salesforce and Oracle Fusion Cloud. As you can see in the diagram, we are going to see how uh, the integration will happen from Salesforce to the Oracle Fusion Cloud applications. From Salesforce, we exposed web service, which is a web style. And uh, from Oracle Fusion, we, uh, we have a web service for creation of sales order. Using these web services, we create connections in YC, in Oracle Integration Cloud. Once we create a connections, then the flow will be developed and the flow will be created. So once the flow is created, then we activate that integration. Once, act, once integration is activated, then we create a sales order in Salesforce and then we see how it is going to be uh, created in Oracle Fusion applications, Oracle Fusion Cloud. Okay, so let's navigate to the Salesforce. This is Salesforce screen and we are seeing new order so once we create a new order here we are expecting order to be created in oracle fusion cloud before creates before creating an order we will see how this integration is developed in oracle ics right so this is oracle ics screen and we have connections and integrations in connections i have created two connections which is Salesforce connection here, DSSF connection. If you open this, you can see what is the connection details. Here is the connection details. I have provided enterprise WSDL for Salesforce and username password. I also have created one more connection, which is for Oracle Fusion. So, which is DS UCF6 connection. If I open this connection, you can see the details, the base URL of the instance, which is UCF gen, and this is instance URL and the username password. Right now, we have two connections, as I explained you. We have two connections which is from Salesforce and which is from which is from Oracle Fusion Cloud. Now let's see how this integration is being built in Oracle IC OIC. Let's go to OIC. I have already created an integration flow. I'm going to explain you how this integration flow is being created. Let me open DS sales order integration. And now as I have shown you, I have used Salesforce connection, which is DSSF connection. And the end connection is DS UCF6 connection, which is a rest connection for the ERP fusion cloud. So if you see the connection details for the Salesforce, sorry, uh, Salesforce endpoint details. Basic info is get order details. And then outbound messaging like I have used WSDL which is from Salesforce. And response, I'm not going to take any response from to the Salesforce and summary now let's review fusion endpoint details basic info is create order 
and then here I have selected configure request failover for the endpoint and for request I I have pasted the sample JSON here and now let's see the mapping here as you can see we are getting order order number from sales, salesforce and that order number i have mapped to the source transaction number and also source transaction id and so i you, you can see the mappings here once the mapping is done so this integration flow will be activated so this integration flow is already activated here now let's go and create an order in sales salesforce i'll provide the details like us one business unit contract number and selecting the customer dj manufacturing order date i will take this date and three now order 0000, 000 and 0136 has been created in salesforce we will add some product to this order product number is AS46340 and quantity is 1 yeah so I have created an order and I have added a product now before activating let's go and see in Oracle Fusion whether this order is, exists or not let's go here and search search with the source order number now this order is not exist here with the source order number 50136 the expectation here is once i activate an order in salesforce that we are expecting to be created in oracle fusion let's click on activate and mark as current status status changed successfully and let's go and see whether order is being created or not so we can see that order has been created in oracle fusion and so you can we can go and see in integration a uh, few transaction details in ic in oic go to monitoring and then integrations Here we can see DS sales order integration total total messages received is 6, 2 is processed and 2 is success. Let's click on like if you click on this success messages you can go and see the details and also you can navigate to the tracking and I have I have enabled order order number as a track track tracking num tracker so let me open this message and click on click on this menu here here you can see the details if you have any errors you can see the errors here we have no errors because order is being created and let's go to view activity screen we, we, are, we are not having any entry here and let's view trial so we can see that so the message has been received from trigger application 
and it has been process processing started and processing completed successfully okay so and if you go to the business identifiers you can see that the order number which i enabled for tracking so uh, five zeros one three six let me close and let me show you where i have enabled this uh, tracking id as order number go to integrations designer integrations and this is the integration flow which i have developed and demonstrated if you click on this menu and you open you if you open the tracking and you can see that order number i have taken for tracking so this is what we are able to see when a message is being triggered from source system to source system and it is published to the target system right yeah thanks guys thanks for watching video i hope you enjoy the video uh, I am Vengard and based out of Marathali and trainer for Oracle Fusion Technical and also OIC. If you like this video, please subscribe for my channel for more videos. Uh, for more details, please contact double nine triple six seven double five two five and so you can send a mail to oraclefusion.venkat at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.